Hi, I'm Shelton from Canon Medical Systems. MRI is complex, but simple explanations behind the latest MRI methods are always good to know. An important indication of the health of internal organs is how soft or hard they are. So today, let's talk about how to measure the stiffness of body tissues using MRI for two minutes. Elastography is the art of making an image where the elasticity, or essentially stiffness, values are mapped to locations within that image. There are many ways to measure tissue stiffness, but a fast, reliable, and non-invasive method is to use magnetic resonance imaging for so-called MR elastography, or MRE for short. One of the most common applications of this is in liver imaging, because we know that liver diseases such as fatty liver disease, cirrhosis, and cancer all affect the tissue stiffness, and indeed, this metric has been shown to be an excellent prognostic indicator for disease progression and long-term outcomes. MRE relies on passing sound waves through the organ of interest, such as the liver, then imaging in a special way the velocity of the wave propagation through the tissue. These vibrations are applied using a speaker-like driver placed on the abdomen of the patient. During one or a few breath holds, Multiple phase encoding MR images are acquired at various time points that are shifted in time with respect to the sound waves, thus allowing an estimate of the wave velocity. Because sound travels at different speed through tissues based on the tissue stiffness, we can calculate from the velocity encoded images using special algorithms, the local stiffness or elasticity, which is represented in the units of kilopascals and mapped onto a colorized image of the anatomy. Typically, we also provide an image overlay to indicate where in the map the calculations had a high confidence fit to the data or not. The most typical acquisition techniques for MRE are gradient echo based, which provides one imaging slice per breath hold, or spin echo EPI, which provides four slices per breath hold. As compared to other techniques like ultrasound or biopsy, which may focus on one small area, MRE provides measures of stiffness over a larger part of the organ, and this can be very helpful, for example, in diffuse or heterogeneous disease processes. If you want more information about how MRE is implemented or how it's applied in measuring tissue stiffness, click on the link and download the attached Good to Know document. You'll find additional information, answers to some questions from the field, user tricks, and best practices. And if you like this video, Subscribe to stay tuned for more simple explanations that are good to know.